We're now going to see the final um, product with I've written this procedure in Visual Basic. There's a very simple form, a text box, so we can enter the value of n, and then a text box to show the output. Two buttons, one running the code as given in the question, and one running my new recursive version. So if we click on the button, now the button, to practice a bit of coding, I'm not putting the code directly on the button. What we're doing is declaring a parameter variable and we're saying the text box in text box uh, text underscore n object. This object is text underscore n is assigned to the variable parameter. And here's where I'm calling the function. This is the function call. So I've written the function called sequence item. I'm passing in the parameter the user's typed in and I'm having that assigned to the text box so I can see on the form txt underscore output is the object. So this is running the function called sequence item. This is almost a direct copy of the function as on the exam paper. So you'll see the, the um, iterative version just using repetition. There's your for loop. There is on the form another button sequence item recursively double click that this button exactly the same setup but this time running a different function sequence item using recursion and this is that procedure we're going to have a look at a really um, useful feature on the debugging menu in Visual Basic called the call stack we know that recursion makes use of the stack data structure to hold the settings of registers and variables at each level of recursion and we can actually see that in practice now. So I've pressed F8 to debug to step through the code. So the first thing is the buttons highlighted. Press F8 again. The parameter variable and I brought up the locals window to show the um, value of the variable parameter. So as I press F8 now, you'll see parameters been given the value 3 because I typed 3 into the text box. It's now on the line where it's going to call the recursive procedure. So the next press of F8 takes me to the recursive procedure. The stack is now making use of the fact that this button's called another procedure. Ends appeared. ends holding three so it's skipped over that so you can learn a lot about programming by using the debugging and working through now we're going to call the recursive procedure again so at the moment notice there's only two items on the stack press F8 now a third call now I'm going to skip, th skip through this it's called the recursive procedure again now N is now one we're going to return an answer. Now we're returning an answer. When we return an answer we're going to pop off the stack so we're going to undo this coiled spring if you like. We're working our way back through the um, recursive procedures now. So F8, F8, you notice one's gone. Pressing F8, return answer, another one gone. And we're working our way back through. Keep pressing F8, we're now ready to output the answer. F8 end and there's our finished form so tracing through the code using the debug tools the call stack and locals you can really learn a lot